Hello there, you beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people, and welcome to Mario Monday. I'm Mackie Mack, and today we are going to be doing a good hack to play if you just started playing Kaizo World. Yes, this is the actual title of the, of the ROM hack, and we're going to be trying this one out. This is going to be my very first uh, Kaizo ROM hack whatsoever. I haven't even played uh, the original Kaizo World, so this is this is going to be like my very first Kaizo experience on Mario World altogether. I played like a couple of Kaizo levels in Mario Maker 2, but um, from what I could see, this is going to be an entirely different experience. So yeah, I'm kind of kind of excited to try this out. How's everyone doing though? All right, we're going to be starting off uh, right now. Uh, so let's boop. Let's start the timer right now. Hi, welcome to this is a good hack to play if you just started playing Kaizo World. Good luck, have fun, and get good. This seed seems impossible, uh, is it? All right, ARG. What is ARG about? Okay, standard ends. If you must have an, if you must have an indi indicators, jet blind drop, has blue. Co <laughs> I don't think this is the title. This is what it's supposed to look like. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I think I think this is not what it's supposed to look like. I think that there, there must be some problems here. I wonder what that's that's supposed to say at the start. Uh, by the way, my controls seem a little bit weird. We'll see. No, oh, okay, we'll we'll get. Okay, so what is this all about? There's a Koopa. I guess I just do this. Whoa! <laughs> well, that starts off well. I uh, guess I'm doing that. Hold jump. I'm holding jump. Whoa! That... You're okay. Uh, the running... Running animation, please. Mario World is so different than Mario Maker 2 for the running. I don't know why. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I'm not doing that. <laughs> And thank you, Morpha, for, for, the, for the good luck. I sure will need a lot, a lot of luck in... Hey, there's a pipe up here. Okay, what is that all about? In SMW, Dragon Coins are only truly collected once five have been picked up in a single life? What? But hey, that's... that's... Wonderful done, I guess? Well, actually, that's... Oh, the Castle of Knowledge. Uh, that feels like uh, this is not supposed to be the place where I'm supposed to be going. So I'll... I'll just... I'll just continue the other way first. But we, we've, we've completed the exit, at, at least. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. It says to wait. Wait for what? Oh, for the timer. Okay. Uh. Okay. There is a P switch here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's that seems to be it. That's GG, I guess. Or not! <laughs> okay! 
That's that's not exactly what I expected from this. That's not exactly what I expected from this. Before I finish the level. What do you mean I can die at the end? This isn't Cat Mario. Ah, that was bad. It jumps way too high. Oh, what? What? What did I not? Did I need to jump there? Shouldn't need to jump there, yeah. Okay, let's wait here. Okay, so what do I need to do? Do I need to... To spring... Yeah, that should be it. Hopefully that, that, that is it. Because if not, I'm in deep trouble. Hey, that was it! We did it! We did it! Okay, so that spring drop was definitely the way. Hmm? Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what's going on. I remember this. Oh, I need to dodge to the sides. Okay. Then off to the side. Oh, oh I had the right jump. But not the... Uh, didn't jump at the right timing. Okay. Oh, jumping too high here is not a good idea. So dodge to the right. Okay. Ooh, that was close. That little muncher right there. Okay, what do I do from here? Okay. <laughs> well, that was a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> Galumba right here. Okay. No! Oh, the, the checkpoint is right there. The checkpoint is right over there. Come on. You can do this. Oh, that's not good. Jumping, jumping too high is not good here. Okay. So I managed to, to fluke my will verb with just that, that tiny little jump I made before. Okay. Okay, that jump seems to be the best way to get over there. Okay, what do I do there? No! I Okay, so I need to stand in the center and then just go to the left. Is what I get from this. Oh, come on. Are scary, man. <laughs> okay, I thought I was not going to be able to, to make it, but. Oh, wait, no! I need to stand on the right side and then go all the way to the left. But do it at the right timing, otherwise, I'll die. I don't think I can jump there. Jumping might be a bad idea. But I could be wrong. That was it. There we go. So what is this, what is this all about? Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> uh, wait. Wait, these black blocks just kill you? Oh yeah, they do. Okay, okay, okay. So do I just kick the Yoshi here? Can I actually stand on... <laughs> Yoshi! Oh, uh, well, Yoshi. My friend. No! I'm coming for you! Okay, so... 
Oh yeah, I can. I definitely can walk on this. Can wait, 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 wait a second. Can I just walk onto the onto the brown block? No, I can't. Okay, so those brown blocks are, are all just death. Should be counting them as such. Okay, ditching the Yoshi. Why? What do I do? Do I just avoid these? How long do I need to to dodge? Is that it? Okay. I guess. Oh, that was not it. Top speed. Do I need to just spin on these? Sure seems like it, but... Hmm. Good lord. Okay. Oh, maybe I needed to hold... Wait, what? I needed to hold my, my Z button there? Or... No. I would have died if I held Z. I like how it slides all the way above. Okay. So top speed. <laughs> top speed to the bottom. Let's go. Okay, so jumping. Ah, come on. Jumping over there shouldn't be too bad of a, of a thing to do. Okay, so... This thing goes here. I didn't know that the charging shocks could destroy munchers. I knew that they could destroy blocks, but munchers themselves, I didn't know. Unless it's something special to... To Kaiser Rum hacks, but... Ah, oh, please! I'm trying so hard to... That's definitely a, mo a modified launcher. Okay. Ah, oh, hey there, Chan. How are you doing? How are you doing? Alright. Go to the right, go to the left, go to the right, go to the left, go to the right. Whoop! I grabbed the P-switch! I grabbed the P-switch! Do I need to release the run? Because on Mario Maker 2, even if you, if, you ha if you are holding run there, you shouldn't be able to grab it. At all. Okay. Playing with fire here a little bit, but that's fine. Yeah, I need to release the run, bu the run button there. Okay, seed is impossible. The only items you could get was a recovery heart, a key to Gallon's Castle, and a key to GTG. Wait, did you play with Mixed Entrance Randomizer? Yes, it is. Oh! I did it! I did it! Okay! Finished, let's get started. Next is Evergreen by Magmatic. But yeah, this is my very first uh, Kaizo Ram hack altogether. I, I think I've played one Mario World Ram hack before, but it was more of a vanilla oriented um, one, and it was it was like a tiny a tiny one that was around some some nice and sweet levels, but not not Kaizo. I've had uh, experience on Kaizo Ramex with... Oh, what is that all that? Did I just try to time? Yeah, there we go. Uh, but I have experience with Mario Maker 2, but... Yeah, the... The environments and whatnot are all different. Oh, come on! This is where I die! 
like the physics and how you move and, and there's like plenty of items are completely different than in than in Mario Maker 2. And I missed the char I missed those charging shocks. There we go. Yeah, incredibly different beasts. Right, you are. Okay. Uh. Oh. Ah, dang it. I held right to too, too long. Should have just jumped normally. It's not too precision and Super Mario World on that all that different. Yeah, or, yeah, technically, yeah. I've seen a couple of guys around Max though. Like I've seen some people play. So I understand like his some items. And oh what? Are you kidding me? So I understand some items, what they do, how to use them, but I've never like played anything like that myself. Oh are you for real? Whoa, he's coming for me! <laughs> he's coming for me! I, I just... I was not expecting that one. <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe he's just gonna rush at the ball and that's it. <laughs> he was coming for me! There we go. Ah, that wasn't good enough. You think that's why part of uh, that's part of why SMW was fun for you? It is. It is a fun rum hack. Well, it's a fun game altogether. So I can understand why people love it that much. Anyway. But yeah, um, for Fluff misbehaving, I don't know why, but he just plain won't um, like capture my my input. So this is why I have like the the controller on top of the screen for this time. You little almost. Okay, so what do I do there? Oh, there we go. Oh no! 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 Checkpoint is right there! Kaiser inputs are too intense for Fluffy. It's more that I'm using my other controller. The controller I used for my make it Oh, that was dumb. Uh, will I be able to deal with this? No. <laughs> Not if I jump too early. Ah, oh, that was dumb. But yeah, the controller I normally use is my uh, Xbox One controllers. But this is the current one I'm using right now is my Pokken controller, uh, which is pretty much the the best controller I can gather for SNES to begin with. Because I hate the, la the the layout of the original... Well, not the, uh, the layout, but the... The grip of the original SNES controller. I hate it so much. It's so, 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 so tiny. Okay, there we go. I'm starting to grasp as to where... Oh, almost. Oh, come on. Yeah, checkpoint. But yeah, the, uh, the original style of the, um, the SNES controller, I'm not too keen on, but the Pokémon controller has a nice grip. A nice... Uh, a nice way to hold it. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. Okay? Okay? 
Okay. Oh, that's a mole. <gasps> <Whoa. laughs> wait, wait, excuse me, where did these, where, 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 where did these come from? But yeah, I really, I really like the uh, the uh, Xbox One like grip altogether. And the Pokémon controller is pretty much an SNES layout with uh, an Xbox One grip, which makes it like so much, so much better to 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 handle overall. Oh well, then I'm kind of dead. I also changed my inputs a little bit so that I could. Uh, make it reflect the... The whatchamacallit? The Mario Maker 2 control scheme. So I have my spin jumps bound to L, my run bound to A, and my jump button bound to B! Okay. Are we good? <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa! No, the goal was right there! The goal is right here. Okay. We're doing this on the next life. Next life, we, we got this. Right? Right? Okay. Not this time, Buster. Okay, so we can just hang on to the right. And drop to our death. Next time. Uh, that would be great to, to, to catch that shell. That would be, be kind of cool too, to be able to grab a shell and actually use it. I should have died there, but I'm glad I didn't. I want to make a death counter, but at the same time, I'm a little bit too lazy to do so. I'll count my deaths after I'm done. There we go. <laughs> I did it. It's a beach style level. Epto be small beach. Let's go. By sweet dude. Okay. This fish up there. Up there. Looks fabulous. F fabulous. Oh. Do I need to do like a tiny jump? Oh yes, I do. Drop. Yeah, well, that's that's going to be hard. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I'm still going to Ah, I wanted to to scout for a little bit. See what's up ahead. Fish orb? Is that, is that an orb? So, so is my goal to to grab the fish? I'm gonna grab the fish. That was an interesting fish. Okay. And so then from here, I just free the Koopa and do the thing. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. I need to grab the fish. I want the fish. Okay. Oh, and the checkpoint is right there. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So as long as we can do this shell part properly, well, ah, yeah, it's going too fast. 
Slowly, slowly, but surely we're getting this, though. E. E. No! I had it. Hey, there it is. Fish! Fish! <laughs> Screw you! <laughs> okay. Okay, I got the fish. Ah, oh, but I couldn't free the... The dude before. Dang it. Drop it. Boink. Oh, I need... I absolutely need to to readjust my my thing here. Like, it's not a hold the right to, to win. Or I could just adjust my... Okay, there we go. Okay, so the checkpoint is right behind. So what I want to do is jump on this little... It's over here! Ah, oh. Couldn't get that shell jump. I'm gonna die a lot because uh, this is Mario World. I don't know the timing for Mario World shell jumps at all. Mario Maker 2, I know them a little bit. Oh. Dropped it a little bit too early. Yeah, that was really, really late. Well, that that was interesting. I thought it would it would kill Kirby, uh, the block away, but apparently it didn't. Shell jumps, resistant sleeper. Yeah, I don't. I'm not too keen on shell jumps either. But ah, uh, you want to do it late and not let go of all jump. Okay. I <laughs> let go of jump. <laughs> I wanted to release. Like releasing for me is is a hard thing to do. I don't know why, but just releasing something means that I want to release both buttons at the same time. Okay. Hey, I did a shell jump, right? <laughs> Does that not count? <laughs> I always release jump in Mile Maker 2 to do shell jumps. That was not what I expected from that Koopa. <laughs> okay. Mm. I wish there was a way to train those shell jumps. Like, at least I have like a web this, at the beginning to train that skill. I did it and I missed it up! Ugh. I don't know what that voice was all about, but... It's fine. It's all good. You can practice it. You know what? You're right! But I can also lose my shell this way. So, there is no practice. No. <laughs> ah, so close. Could try learn to Kaizo. That hack is literally just one trick and then that's the level. What do you mean? Like you have multiple levels or is this just one singular level that requires you to do one... Tr oh. 
That was bad. To do one trick. One trick per level, I see. Hey, let's go! Okay, so I guess... Oh, yeah, but I need to control my momentum afterwards. Fish! Fish! Block! Over block! What is this all about? What? <laughs> Dolphin! Okay, so I'm, then I need to drop down and just jump all the way over. Okay. Ah, that muncher, though. Oh, why did I jump there? Just need to run. Okay. What is this all about? That section I have no no clue as to what I'm supposed to do there. Well, that was bad. Hmm. Hey, at least I didn't die in the water. Or whatever this is supposed to be, because water isn't supposed to be pink. Wait, what? There's a Koopa over there, but I have no clue as to what this is all about. Uh, do I need to jump left to catch the, the dolphin a second time and then jump down there, down the clouds? Oh, wow, the timing is a little bit tight on this one. <laughs> I messed up there. Should have jumped earlier. Yeah, so far for... Like, this might be like a beginner, beginner Kaizo thing and, and whatnot, but... It feels like I'm progressing somewhat well. There's... I know that there's some Kaizo levels in Mario Maker 2 there. I could take two hours and just get to one checkpoint. But here I'm still pro progressing a little bit faster than... than usual. Oh, come on. At the same time, I'm not dealing with the horrible... Oh, oh yes, I am indeed catching that, that ride again. I'm not dealing with uh, the status of the Switch and the uh, OBS. Okay. Huh. What do I need that, that shell for then? Something tells me I was not supposed to have that shell, but maybe I could be wrong. Anywho, uh, yeah, I on on SMM2 I had like so many frame stutters, so many problems with the um, the game the game capture. It was unbearable to play. Here everything is like super responsive, so I can actually react and and do tricks. I would say. Because let me tell you, when you have like a 200 millisecond worth of of um, 
of input delay and you're trying to do many corner jumps at the same time. Yeah, it's it's not fun. <laughs> and on top of that with stutters. I'm on emulator right now. I do have the hardware, uh, the hardware to play it on... Uh, I think it, I think there was a virtual console of the of this game, right? But I do have the uh, yes and yes and the uh, the game to play it on anyway. Oh! Oh! I got dunked in the water. Dang it! But I still prefer using an emulator here because it's so much less of a hassle to to set up and it looks just as good, in my opinion. Yeah, I don't even have access to the um to the the Switch virtual console anymore. Ah, come on. Because I don't have my Nintendo Switch online. Had to cut it out because uh, lots, lots of problems. Lots of money, ah, money related problems. I had to cut, to cut some expenses out and Nintendo Switch online was one of them since I didn't play Mario Maker 2 in a, in a long, long, long while. I got dunked again! Come on! I think I could just wait and drop down. Next time, this is what I'm going to try. Yeah, so much better to do it this way. Okay, but what do I want to do for this? afterwards because if i get the koopa this will get me something but what exactly whoops Kissing the Koopa Mario. Just boop. Let me take let me take a little bit of an hydration break here. Ooh. That revives. Ah, oh, please. Okay, then drop down. Up over there. What? Then why do what do I do? Do I just jump onto this Koopaling? Well, not Koopaling, but this this naked Koopa. I am super confuzzled about uh, as to what I need to do. Do I need to do a short jump and then boop the 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 tiny Koopa? Hmm. And all of a sudden, I, I could do this. These two fishies and then the, the block without any problems whatsoever. But then all of a sudden, the blocks decided to, to just blink me into, into the pink water. Like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I'm scrolling uh, the weirdest way whatsoever? Like, I don't get it. Okay, this time I didn't hold right the right way. That I could feel.
There we go. Whoa. So I need to use the dolphin to jump on that Koopaling. I don't I don't know why I say Koopaling, but I don't want to say naked Koopa dang it. <laughs> don't know why. There's something there's something disturbing about saying naked Koopa. Yeah, I can't jump because the clouds just deny me the, the possibility of going up. I don't know why I think that clouds will let me through, but they don't. The, the part where I'm still like what do I do about it because even if I get the Koopa and then I just go down even if I get the dolphin I might get crushed by the, the munches anyway whoops For now, I need to, to, to be able to go by this without dying too much. Like, trying to focus to get the right things done before the Koopa, before thinking about, about that section. that single block and the fact that the, the the cloud just just dunks you down like instead of just going through it just dunks you down straight away no question clouds aren't like that the other way why is it why is it this way The problem is, if I go too much to the right, I get munched. But if I if I don't do that, I get dunked into the water. So it's really a question of being able to to get the right momentum going in, or rather to control that momentum well, which is something I suck horribly at, as you might see. Maybe if I do like a spin jump instead of a big jump, I should be able to control this a little bit better. No! That was progress! So that's how you do it. Okay. I can get it. I can get in with a shell. I don't know what that shell is going to be for, but I can get. Oh, I know what that shell is for! I know what that shell is for. We need it. Yeah, progress. And now, now the puzzle is complete. I know, I know, I know everything I need to do. So now I just need to do it. As long as I can just bounce on that, on that Koopa and then get into the pipe, the level is won. What? Okay, I didn't even have like the uh, the b -b -b sound. It just kill me instantly. Mackie, you doing my my world run hacks? Yes, I am. I am. I am doing. This, this is a good hack if you just started playing, playing Kaizo 
world. This is literally made to be one of the, the first kinds of hacks you should play on my world. So, guess I'm doing that. Oh yeah, I wanted a little bit of a change of pace. I played like lots of Mario 64 recently and wanted to see if I could just try something different. And this seems like a fun prospect, so... Boink. Boink. Yeah, doing a spin jump here is the best. <gasps> no! <laughs> the pipe entry. Stop nying, please. So many nyes. Yes, that could that Koopa so much. I just giving I'm just giving him like free hugs at this point. But how are you doing though, Diosa? How's the things? Mm. I'll jump too much. Doing good, glad to hear it. What are we up to? But the difficulty increased quite a bit on this stage. I can I can clearly feel it. <laughs> the panic, the panic of the momentum. <laughs> One, as in like Formula One or Final Fantasy One, or okay. I didn't know you play you played racing games here or so. I'm not too keen on the um, on the realistic types of driving, I'd say. I'm more fond of uh, chaotic slash. Oh, I got it! I'm more fond of chaotic or slash fantasy things. Fish! Fish, 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 fish. That was the most fabulous fish in this entire RAM hack. I think we might not be able to see a better one than this. Okay, that's... Is that a castle or a boo? But that's a castle. That's a castle. That is a castle indeed. Mm -hmm. This door is so small. Why is that door that small? Why are those coins blue as well? Okay. Oh, that's because I need to spin jump. Okay. Wait. I have to, re to restart from the beginning, not from the start of the, the rooms. Oh, no. Okay. So blue coins mean spin. Dang it. Blue coins almost always indicate spin jumps. I see. Yeah, there, there was supposed to be a... Uh, 
a message at the start that was supposed to explain me how the RAM hack worked. But let's just say that the, that, that small part got jumbled up pretty badly. <gasps> oh, that was close. Okay, I did it. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, that was a bit rude. I tried to jump. It didn't. didn't. It didn't. Also, where's my checkpoint? Ding it. Okay. Fortunately, we're doing this pretty fast, so... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me with that? What was I supposed to do? What did I do wrong there? What? Okay. I am... Um, oh, I, I really thought I was going to die this one. I'm trying to 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 follow like the the coin things and whatnot too. Please. I'm trying to follow the coin trails as much as I can, but certain ones are a little bit wonky to follow. But this is pretty much like a go right level. Like you hold right and then you just press the buttons. Oh. Well, all the buttons are not left for the most part. Whoa! Oh, come on. I almost saved that. That would have been clutch. Wait, I, I, w I didn't even land. Can you enter the doors without being on land? That was... That was weird. I don't think that was, that was supposed to happen. Okay. I struggle to find the timing on this one. Okay. There we go.
Keep running right. Keep running right. This one is easy. It's the it's the other one that has like a, a weird janky timing. Oh, checkpoint! Finally. Hmm. What's this all about? Ah. Uh. Okay. Are we good? We seem we seem to be good. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay. That seems like an easy boss. Let's go. G G. Hey the clanky puppets. Let me, I'll, I'll call you Clanky. <laughs> How are you doing? And welcome. <laughs> that was a level. Banned from Twitch Stego. Oh no. What happened to you, Stego, to be banned? Oh. Maybe that was why. Okay, let's see. So do I need to, I need to spin jump on these, I guess. Hmm. Too soon and I just hit it before, too late and I just completely avoid it. Yeah, I don't want to be doing the spin jump right as I go. I need to go a little bit to the right first. Hmm, and I need to control my jump a little bit as well. Do I want to lose my... I think I want to lose my, my shroom here. Because if I don't, uh... Wait, no. No, I don't want to lose my shroom here. Because I can still, like, bounce a little bit higher with the, the yellow blocks, right? I really don't know. Hmm. Need to find the right... The right thing here. Yeah. This seems like a nice stage altogether, just not clear on on what to do for these bullet bills. It seems like I don't want to be holding the, the spin jump button for Okay. I'm still alive. I think I was supposed to be still spinning around. And then just getting on that onto that that spine over there. Okay, I'll get. We did it. Yeah, that's that bullet belt, that bullet belt section was a little bit weird, but Ooh. we did it though. There is a level down. Next is Mount Ordeals. What? Wow. It, it, what, 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 <laughs> what, 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 I don't think that's supposed to happen. I don't think that's supposed to be the way you do it, but... I mean, I'll take it, I guess. 
Then I hit the gallon bar and I go up left. Okay. I'm really not sure if that's the, the way I was supposed to do it or not. I don't think that's the way I'm supposed to. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to jump straight from the get-go. And then hit this and then jump there. I don't know why, this music reminds me of... Um, that one... Starting soon screen or that one BRB screen that Kate has with the EV. The dancing EV. Okay, there we go. Oh no. It seems still doable, but... Ah, no, never mind. Messed up on that one. Okay. Ah, oh, why do I keep doing this to myself? I just need to not press the, the jump button there. See? Just need to do that. Uh, what was that bomb for? It feels like I need to use that bomb somehow, some way. I need the full, uh, the full momentum jump here. If I don't get the full speed down there, I will not be able to clear the jump. This is why I can't do this this way. Do not press jump button here. Hold. Hold it! Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I like that that completely discombobulated, discombobulated uh, Wiggler. Ugh. Hey, I managed to save the Wiggler. Oh, well, never mind. Goodbye, Wiggler. Oh, so managed to do it without the, uh... The momentum. Okay. Yeah, I want to kick it up there, but... I really don't know how. How I'm supposed to kick it up there and still manage to grab the vine. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe with the uh, spins. Nah, that mantra is placed at the perfect position to to deny that. Oh, there I go. Yeah, I've been working on a couple of things recently that I've been f having fun with, like some ah, some animations and um, some things I've realized that might help a lot of people and I might make like a, a small tip video about uh, something about transitions and how you can encode them to be to be a lot less 
heavier onto your system. And hey, there's some... Oh, there we go. There it is. There it was. It wasn't good enough. Come on. How are you doing this now? I don't know how I'm supposed to be that much faster for, for that bomb though. I need to jump and let it be a little bit more to the side. I'm doing fine? I'm glad to hear it. Okay, what? I keep doing this to myself. I keep thinking, like, this is not going to be far enough. I need to press jump a tiny, tiny little bit. But in my world, for whatever reason, the tiny, tiny little bit is so much more than in SMM2. Okay, there we go. I supposed to do this because I'm supposed to be kicking it up all the way up to the to that to that conveyor belt ish section then this will kill the the pioneer plant and I'll be able to just jump out of here but That's still not helping me out, uh, because the timer is like super short for that bomb. But yeah, so as I, as I was saying about the, the transitions and whatnot, there's like a couple of ways you can make your transitions... Um, like you can make some animations and transitions way so much less and at the same time be so much more smoother in OBS. Please. Like, for example, the Fluffnado and the... Um, the OT one I made recently are made using those new techniques I've... I've discovered. Hey, there we go. Checkpoint! And they are so much more sm smoother than than any of my previous animations. And also at the same time, they don't require me to green screen out some things. And this makes the um, animation quality go so much further. Oh, good lord. That's, that's a wall of text. Um, wanting to play all of the Mario and Luigi games, especially the first one. Well, it's up happening if you play one, but you all know your son. Okay. But, uh... You want to be to be playing for all of them, but you're only playing from Bowser's Inside Story? Is all what, what I can get? Yeah, okay, yeah. That's, that's it. You want to play all of them, but you only play Bowser's Inside Story. Which is a shame. Bottoms in Time is my... Is either my favorite or my second favorite. My favorite might still be... Um, Dream Team Bros. I'm not actually that much in love with... Ah, dang it. Uh, I'm not actually that much in love with... Bowser's Inside Story myself. But that's because the... Ah, uh... oh, dang it. I'm not too keen on the... On the inside Bowser thing. <laughs> I'm someone that's very weak to... Um, to gore or... Like, flesh things and what... Ah, oh, come on go off flesh things and and everything like that for example the interior of jabu jabu 
is one of my least favorite places to go in Ocarina of Time for that reason. I don't mind things like bones or... or zombies or things like that, but... the... like, being able to be inside something or, like, sh share... Uh, like, um... well, flesh. Flesh was the word I was... Because chair, chair is 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 an entirely different thing in in English. Okay, what do I do there? What? Eh, not that. That's for sure. Okay. Okay. There we go. Do I want to try and push this shell uh, without getting hit? Yeah, I think I want to push that that shell without getting hit by the fire. I I did manage to beat the game. Like I I finished. I hundred percented all of the Mario and Luigi games. So well, save for paper uh, paper jam. No! Not that way! No! Stupid fire! Don't go that way! No! I was close! I just needed to grab the chill. That's a neat idea though. I really like it. But yeah, I did, I did complete Bowser's Inside Story and the last boss was really cool. Um, there was lots of... of really cool minigames. There was lots of great items. Uh, team cool, cool bruise attacks. Like, it was, it was a really quite great game altogether. Just... the theme is not my cup of tea. I hate this part. It's a cool idea, but I hate ha having to do it. <laughs> hey, I got it. Just gotta make sure. No Kaiser blocks. We good. <laughs> Had to make sure. Most people think it's the downfall of the series. I wouldn't understand at the same time. I would think... I would say it's absolutely not the case. Like, Dream Team Bros has so many great ideas and, um, so much change compared to, compared to some, just, well, compared to Bowser's Inside Story, Luigi becomes more than just, a. Hey, it's a second character that does the same things he did in, in Superstar Saga and, and Partners in Time. Like, it was really, really creative in how it did its puzzles, and... Yeah, I really, really, really love how Dream Team uh, felt overall. It was a bit easy at times. I will definitely agree on that, but yeah. No, I can't. I can't do that. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, wow. I need to jump all the way over there. Okay. Ah, it wasn't good enough. Oh wow, if I jump too high here, that's not good either. Yeah, the, the final boss is really cool for, for Inside Story. That I will agree on. But then again, uh, Bowser's Inside Story had a great final boss. Partners in Time had a fantastic one as well. Um... Superstar Saga had had a really, really, really interesting one um, with Gregory Mona, and pretty much I, I would say I would say that the uh, the Dark Star one in Bowser's Inside Story is pretty much like a a change on no oh, wait she's called Cacletta in in, in English. Uh, in, in French, she's called Gra Gregory Mona. But yeah. Um, it's... Like, the Dark Star is, is like the Gregory... Mon the the Kakaleta fight, but... Better, I'd say? But for the Dream Team Bros and the, the Partners in Time 1, like, they felt like entirely completely different bosses and that's something that I really loved about it and the the Partners in Time one was more of a oh wait I don't know if you've ever finished Partners, Partners in Time I don't know if I if you ever did so I can't I'm not going to spoil you if you didn't oof that's a bad this bad one As you said, yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know if you, you said, you said you played a little bit of them, but not finished them. Okay. Yeah, whenever, you, whenever you do like a, a wall of text, it's a little bit harder to, to read overall. Okay. But yeah, so in that case I won't I won't spoil, but the Pandas in Time had something really really cool that I didn't see since uh Paper Mario the Thousand Yodo. That's all I'm going to say about it. No spoilers on it. Hey, checkpoint. Wait, what? What was I supposed to do there? What? What? Am I supposed to hit that, that platform and then get that Koopa? It's also hard to wall to read while playing game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm I'm saying. Well. Hmm, I need oh maybe I needed to not look over left at all at that section. Okay. I needed to wait a little bit more. Oh. 
Man, that section is hard. Wow. I need, okay, I need to just drop down. That section is cool, but it's super hard to to manipulate proper ah uh, properly. Wait, what? Do I do I need to not jump? Do I need to jump, rather? Last time I tried to jump, I just bonked and then died. Oh, maybe I need to wait. Let's see. Maybe I need to wait up there and wait to... to have that blob do its thing. It's weird how the Mayan Legion games in uh, in other regions than J Japan were not named uh, like one, two, three, or four. Yeah, I n I know that that the uh, in Japan they, they were names like like Final Fantasies would just one, two, three, four, five. Maybe actually, actually maybe the Paper Mario. Uh, interesting. Maybe the Paper Mario one didn't. Wait, actually, what? It was named 1, 2, 3, and 4 in your region as well? Because I knew that, that for... Only for Japan, it was 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm so dead. Ugh, I was so close. I know that in France, the um, the names are well French, <laughs> duh. <laughs> but I don't know about anything else, like for the for the other regions. Like I know there are there there are, there are English names, of course. I know there. Are... The, the Japanese ones, because it's easy, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth. I don't, I don't remember, actually I don't remember for the 3DS one, if it was named in French or not. Superstar Saga was still Superstar Saga in, in French. Uh, Partners in Time was Les Frères, Les Frères du Temps, which is basically the Time Bros. Um, uh, Bowser's Inside Story was like Voyage au Centre de Bowser, which is... Uh... Oh, no, it's right there! Okay, long uh, uh, spin jump. Okay. No. If I mess up here once, it's over. Need to do it well right from the get go. Wow. 
Went a little bit higher up here. Ah, bonk. We are so close to finishing this stage, though. How many stages have we finished, like, in, in the, the span of one hour and a half? Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> no! Even the spin jump is too much! Come on! Have some mercy, dang it! Wait... Did I miss something here? Because this feels like there's much more than meets the eye. Yeah, I can't go back here. And I can't go back there either. But this feels like there is a second e exit of sorts in this one. I don't know why. My spidey senses. Wow. My spidey senses are tingling. I salvaged that somehow. Yeah, there is a pipe down there. Alpine soil. Maybe that's the, 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 the pipe that goes somewhere I need to be. But yatta. What? Wait, I need to spin jump this. That's a cool... I... I think I remember this this music from somewhere, but where? Was it F-Zero? No. I don't remember. Ah, so close. What? What? Sounds like make a, uh, You might be right. That might be the case. Man, I would recognize that... I, I recognize like the... Um... The background riff and whatnot, but... Not the melody in itself. What do I do there? What? How do I get there? So if I go a little bit more to the right, I should be able to get there. But it's it seems like a controlled spin jump. So I need to, to hang onto the wall and then press right when the, the munches are not 
Like, what? No, 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 don't press. What? No, I, I, I don't get it. Like, this part is clear? Sure. But this part is completely... ...incomprehensible for, uh, for me. Like, d does anyone need know what I need to do? There? Because it seems like I need to... I need to bounce off that, ch that charging truck to get to that... ...platform over there, but... ...there is no... Ah. Like, down there, down there is just nothing. The charging truck on to the left side has nothing for me. So... And if I go try to go in too soon, I'm going to die to the Munchia. I'll just fall in the hole. Like, is the number of coins supposed to be the number of times I'm supposed to be bouncing on the pokey? One, two, three, four. But there is no... Looks like a re-grab. Hey, that's true. Uh, th 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 I don't have any shells. So re-grabbing might be hard to do. Two, three, four. Ah, oh, dang it. I don't think that the coins are supposed to represent the number of times I'm supposed to jump. Maybe I need like a certain amount of momentum from this. How are you doing, Bird Tashiro? How is the things? How's Meow How's Meow and Kitty and in the rest? Whoop. Yeah, but if I do, I hit the monsters. That's what I've been trying to do as well, and... I died there. I'm going to retry, though. Let's see. I'm really not liking, like, how they... Oh, whoops. I need to jump uh, to spin there. I'm really not liking the... the looks of this one stage, though. Doing pretty good? Not sure about Kitty, I haven't been, really been playing to Ah, oh, that's, that's alright. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. That's, that's exactly what I needed. To... Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Decided to chase after nothing. But yeah, you're right. That's what I need to do. Thank you so much for, uh, for that. I need to hold the button after I bounced on, on that one. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, I think that was what that was what I was supposed to do, but I <laughs> I, ex I somehow expected to go up there. But I'm glad that I'm glad to hear that the kids are doing well. Oh, well, that's that's dumb. I did. Ah, oh, please. Yeah, this is my very first Kaizo. Well, my my very first Kaizo Maya world. Yeah, I held. I think I held too early. Dang it! This one is called. This is a good hack to play if you're just starting playing Kaizo World. So yeah. I tried to spin jump there, but Mario decided nope. I really don't like the start on this one. Oh, I forgot that I needed to, to temporize. Whoops. But yeah, I, I know that there's like lots of great Kaiser rum hacks, or, or even just plain rum hacks that are cool to play. And I really wanted to be to be trying some of them out. That's why, that's why I was like, hey, why not try this one out? Gotta start somewhere, right? But this level is kicking everything out of me. But yeah, generally I play more uh, Mario 64 RAM hacks. Some of them that might be harder than others. Uh, generally I play some more venue oriented or like some some larger SM64 RAM hacks. But I wanted to do something different for this Mario Monday and here we are. Oh I saved this. Oh no come on that was that was a clutch save. You can't do this to me Mario Ah, now I'm playing the Mario 64 RAM hack. There is lots of wonderful and absolutely fantastic RAM hacks you could be playing uh, on Mario 64. There's a um, there is a website called RAMHacking.com um, that houses like I think more than 400 hacks altogether. Ah, oh, please. I was still too slow. And... I think... Well, actually, 400 might even be, like, a, a low estimate. Because there's, there's like, tons of proof of concepts and... And other troll creations and whatnot. But... Out of them... Oh, oh I can just do that. Interesting. Out of all of them, I have like 150 something that I really want to play. So, yeah. And I've completed 20 already. And that that list keeps on growing. Uh, Kaze Emanuel has like a, a wonderful RAM hack that's coming out soon, TM. There's like tons of wonderful, wonderful quality of life. I think the, the the 
his future rum hack will have uh, 60 FPS, which is mind blowing for for Mario 64. Oh come on! Because if you've ever tried, well, uh, if you could ever try the uh, the Mario 64 at 60 FPS, they ha has already made before. The game is like super duper smooth, and it's insane. You're going to go play Super Smash again? No problem. Have a wonderful time. There we go. The only SM64 RAM hack you ever did play was co-op. Yeah, co-op? I want to, to try that one out one day. I want to try that one out one day. Oh, I'm so dead. At least I made it onto the pokey. Yeah, I think it. Run so smooth, especially on the actual hallway. Hardware, yeah. Well, the uh, the, um, the 60 FPS hack that the case made one day actually run even smoother. Like, I don't know if it could even run on, on actual hardware, but it's, it's it's insane how it looks when you played it. Well, when you play it, rather. Because you didn't, you didn't play. <laughs> Any Mario 64 on that stitcher. <laughs> My English. My English is, is just being a little bit balked. Oh, I just need to hold right here. Come on. But yeah, this... Out of all of the levels I've played so far, this level might be my least favorite. Uh, he always he has made one. Nah, dang it. There's like a Banjo Kazooie and a Banjo Tui crossover kind of thing. But right now he's doing like a, a Yoshi, a Yoshi's Island RAM hack. Well, a Yoshi thing at least. That's stinking charging chuck. But yeah, if you ever want to get into Mario 64 RAM hacks altogether, uh, I would recommend Mario and the Cursed Castles. Mario and the Curse Castles, um, the Star Revenge series might be a little bit rough of an intro, but they can be they can be good to play. Uh, what else? Super Mario 64 Land was absolutely mind blowing. There we go. And I missed this one. Come on. But yeah, Super Mario 64 Land was a really, really good one. Uh, Super Mario 64 Star Road is a good RAM hack to start with. Um, the Star Attack Rebooted, also wonderful. And there's like a couple of others that I would recommend as well, but not for a first run hack. More, more after like you've had a couple of run hacks down your belt. 
like Star Revenge 3 and, and 3.5. Man, that section is so tough for nothing. Like, I know how to do it, but it's not consistent. Like, it really doesn't feel consistent. Unless I'm doing it wrong somehow. I'm going to try and follow the trail of coins and see if I can gather something interesting there. No, that just bounces me straight onto the munches. I'm going to retry one more time. There we go. Okay. No, I, I got it now. I found a consistent way to do it. What the? Come on, Maul. That wasn't fair. And also, where's my checkpoint? Dang it. I found a consistent way to do it, but yeah. I basically need to follow the coins and and hold the right after I've bounced. Hold the right and jump at, after I've bounced. But I need to time it right. And that's the hard part. Come on. There we go. Okay. No! And the checkpoint is right there! Why? Why do I have to do all of this just for that? Okay, that was close. I mean, I'm getting closer to... 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 Oh, I'm, I'm getting better at, at doing this now. One, two... Never mind. Take my care of how I just did. The weird part about the timing on this one is that you have to be holding the jump button way after you bounce. If you do it like right as you bounce, you still get the boost from the jump somehow. But if you don't do it right, you uh, might not get the boost you need to go all the way. So. Okay. Yeah, I'm really not fan of this level altogether for now. Like, I get what I need to do, but I'm still not fond of what I have to do to do it. Oh, that mall. That mall is going to destroy my entire life from now on.
Okay, there we go. Oh, and I didn't manage to do it. At least... The saving grace in this is that I... I'm getting the timing a little bit better for... For these extended jumps. So it is still helping me in, in learning how to do these properly. I needed to hit this and then hit the, mo the other mole to get there. Hey, let's still progress. Too early. I pressed way too, way, 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 way too early. There we go. A monster! Again! There we go. Oh, wow! I don't know why these charging trucks just decide to to go or not. Sometimes they decide to, to, to go later, sometimes they decide to go sooner. But getting the exact timing on this is like I went as fast as I could. I didn't I didn't change too much on my input there. And I still got like screwed over. I wonder what determines them for that determines for them the, the way to move. That wasn't good. I should have just jumped again to get to, uh, to the pokey. Hey, got you, spooky pokey. Hey, got you, spooky pokey. I don't know if any, if, if any of you have ever watched the, uh, well, ever listened to Smooth Criminal, but uh, every single, every, one of the two beats are, are skipped or something like that. Like every two beats is skipped. It's pretty good. You've been hit by boots. Ah, again. Yeah, it's 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 really really good. I won't be playing it on stream for, well, obvious reasons, but. It's, it's pretty, pretty good. I'll try to find the... Uh... The link to it, though. Oh, wow. Okay, one, two, three. Too early. One, two. I hate this jump so much. Wow. 
I hate this jump so much and then it's followed by an even worse jump. There we go. No, I bonked. I was so close. I still progress though. Okay, I'll take this. That was, that was my B. Okay. I'll give myself five more lives and then I'll do a hydration break and I'll, I'll try to find the link to that. Four. I'm getting more consistent at this jump, but this one is the one I don't understand. Free. Two. I was right on it and still didn't manage to bounce. One. I'm dying. Zero. All right. I'm taking like a little bit of a hydration break. Let me let me try and find the uh, that one. Uh, smooth criminal, but every other beat is missing. Please don't play. Thank you. There you go. It's this one. I won't be playing it on st on on stream, but. There we go. Woo! There we go. That's... That's cool to have like a little bit of an hydration. Uh, oh! That was my... Uh, my other empty bottle that I emptied up. A little bit earlier. Under positions. Hydration acquired. We are doing this. Never mind. Okay, this is it. Let's still progress. Let's still progress, you guys. We are doing this. We are at least getting to the checkpoint, dang it. I was right there. Okay. Do this. I killed both of them at the same time. How? The second one was still jumping. 
And then somehow managed to kill it first. But last, brother. <laughs> That's dumb. Okay. Yeah, I need to be super fast about that one, that one jump. If I try to take like a little bit of... ...of momentum, I am dead. Just like that, yep. Okay, so I get why I was dying before now. Point. Uh, sliding kills Pyroness. To press off slide, don't press left, right, or the jump buttons. This will be used later. Okay. Or are you... Actually, do I have to ditch Yoshi? Yeah, I think I have to ditch Yoshi there. Well, because I don't think Yoshi can can speed Galumbus. Yeah, that was, that was dumb. Okay, this is bad. The screen doesn't scroll the right way. Okay, I'm up here. So to present slide, I need to not press. Oh! That was. What do you mean that was still ye? Ah. Okay. I hate this so much. Why? Why is the scroll this way? Like, why can't they place the Yoshi higher? Well, the the the, the node block higher. It's not like you could save Yoshi from here. Okay. That was dumb. There we go. Oh, I need to do this. Let's see. But how do I deal with the the pineapple plant down there? Like how do I deal with that? Do I need to sign this with the, the, the yellow platform? 
so that I slide, but I slide. Yeah, I need to keep slide, but... Yeah, it, it seems like I need to time it with the yellow platforms. There we go. No! Come on! Okay, then now I know, now I know what to do. Well, not that, at least. But yeah, so far this shapes up to be to be the, my least favorite level of the entire hack. Like, tons of issues with it. Oh, that was dumb of me. That was purely my fault. Like a great hack all, all together for the rest of the levels, but this one, this one is mm, not too keen on it. <sighs> I forget that slopes in my world force you to to go down, so you have to readjust if you want to. To keep speed. Like, I don't understand why the scroll locks at that point. You don't need you don't need the, the scroll to be that low. That was dumb. Goodbye, Yoshi. I love you still. Wait, what? Uh, am I supposed to do this in one one fell swoop? Sure feels like it, at least. Yeah, if I try to do this one in one go, it just doesn't let me do that. It should be, because there, there's not that much that would be affecting my speed. Like that. No, this is a shell jump, isn't it? Wow! This is a Yoshi shell jump without any kind of training whatsoever. Ouch. That didn't work. Yeah, this run like it looks looks very decent altogether, but I don't know. As the very first run hack, I don't think this is the one you want to play. 
Like, I'm doing decent because I have, like, some experience with Mario Maker 2. But if someone wanted to, to, to discover Kaizos and discover tricks and whatsoever, this is absolutely not the one. Like, this is absolutely not the hack that you want to be playing if you're just starting placing, playing Kaizo. The title is lying. Okay, boink. What? I was not expecting to jump the high. Because I held the, the jump button without thinking. That was dumb of me. It's, sure. It's it's better than, than to play like one of the uh, one of the, the the bigger harder run hacks. But still. I don't understand. What do they want me to do here? Wait, you can die on Yoshi? Excuse me, what? That is the first time I've ever died on a Yoshi. Well, other than just falling into a rope. Mm, I could try. So how do you want me to place the the shell though? Not this way, that's for sure. I don't even know you could just throw a shell through a wall. Ooh, that was close. Oh, I jumped like an idiot. I don't understand. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You can spit it through the bottom... Through the wall when you're at the bottom. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Yeah, I can do that. And then I just do this. And then I just die. But that's how you do it. Let's see. Yeah, thank you on that. Whew. Don't think I would have figured that myself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa there, partner. I don't believe I've seen you around these sports. Ah, come on. I'm going to be so glad after this level is done.
Ah, I'm going to 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 hang on a little bit more to the center, center, center left. Whoops! I keep holding the wrong button when I do this. Okay, what? Am I doing wrong? There we go. So I tried to jump. I did press the button. But I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the run button. There we go. Just run, Maggie. Run. Don't try to slide. Run. I think I think sliding is the the way you to do to do that. Whoops. When it comes to sliding jumps, you don't tap left or right to keep full momentum, I see. Yeah, that's what it, what it said, but it still didn't do the full momentum when I tried to, to get there at first. Or maybe I did press, I did press it uh, subconsciously. And... Give me a break. Okay. I don't get it. Sometimes it lets me it lets me go through, sometimes it just doesn't. This entire setup is inconsistent. At least it it sure feels like it. That I did nothing different there. And it worked. I did nothing different there and it still works. Yeah, I, I don't get what I'm doing wrong. There it is. Here I do know though. I was way too close to the to the right wall. Yeah, I pressed I pressed left here. This is what kills me. Man, get me out of this level. Like, I like the concepts and whatnot, but the execution is horrible. 
The execution is horrible. Please, jump, Mario. So, when do I want to jump? Do I want to jump on the on the flat part, or do I want to jump from the slope itself? From the slope? Okay. Go. It can be kind of jank sometimes. Yeah, I, I, I see that. Fortunately, I like jank, but still. Then this game is perfect for you. I mean, I play Mario Maker 2, so I'm used to jank. I, I played, rather. But I played many of other of, of games that are also just as janky anyway. Oh, finally. Okay. Level is over. Ah. Yeah, freaking ta. Don't be scared. I'm not scared anymore. While spin flying, you can press back to slow down. And you won't... What? I don't get it. Like, I need to not hit the... Ah! I need to not hit the... Like, it seems like I need to, to, to do this, right? Maybe just normal flying. Okay. Okay, okay, okay.
And then I need to spin flight. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, wait, what? Whee! <laughs> hey, at least I got some I got some progress done. That's all right. was not expecting to go to go down this way okay and I don't get that section like do I need to do I need to to not hmm Do not spin. Like just boing, boing, then diving, then spinning. Yeah, if I hit this, I'm dead. So what? What is the point? What is the point of that section? Like, do I need to hit it, come back, and then do it again? What do you want from me, game? Oh, that's it. Hey, checkpoint. Hold left and B. Okay. What are all these green coins for? If I hold left and B, this is what happens, Chief. I don't know what you want from me, Gabe! Okay, let's see. There we go. Dive. Hold left. Okay. So I need to bonk before I do this. Oh wait, no. What? I need to do it before I bonk? Not exactly. Oh close. I did it a, I did it a little bit too early. Whoa. 
GG! Sprites in space. Yeah, what 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 were those those green coins for? Maybe you need to not die to be able to get it? Alright. What? Oh, I see. Wait, and then I need to spend jump on these? Yeah, I think I need to spend jump on these. Uh, but if I jump, to, if I do it too early, I just die. What? Interesting stage, though. Like, now that I don't understand what to do. Like, everything is, is somewhat clear as to what it wants from me. that can I actually use the uh... no I have to use the air button to spin this way I raised the wrong button Some buttons is is something I really hate about myself. Cause I keep I keep like releasing the jump button when I need to release the run button. I keep releasing the the run button when I need to release the jump button. Like it's Do I need to dodge these? Like, is this what I'm, uh, I'm supposed to do? Can I somehow dodge this in a, in a, in a certain way? There we go. That's what I mean right here. I was supposed to release the jump button, but I released the, the run button instead. Get it. What does it want from me here?
It wants me to release the jump button, apparently. I think. Whoops. I'm fine now. Oh no, I'm good. I released the uh, the run button instead of the jump button. Spin that, spin jump here. Not spin dash. Wrong game. <laughs> Oh, come on! I hate that you can't use the, uh, this, the spin jump button to spin while you're running. Because this would make it so much easier to deal with. Okay, that's what you want you want to do. You want to release your jump button so, you, so that you fall a little bit faster and that the jumps don't the, the souls don't hit you. I guess I guess that's what we need to do. I jumped too late there, apparently. I'm starting to lose concentration, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Release the wrong button again. Released it too 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 late. There we go. did it. Oh. Space Cowboys. Thanks for the GG's. Oh. 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 Darby a Kaiser Black hair. What? What? Oh, I see what they want me to do. Yeah, that was a cool level. This jump, this jump just looks weird. I 
don't know what to do. I thought this was just me having to boing this and then just swooshing away, but... No, this is not it. And my thumb starts to hurt right now. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't want to be in there. Cases of thumb breakers. Yeah, and my, my thumb, like, I have, like, this nasty habit of just... Uh, cutting my knees, nails, like, way, 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 way too short. And sometimes I enjoy myself doing so, uh, by advertence, and this is one such case today. Maybe you have to use the overcheck to jump up, but how? Like I don't I don't I don't understand how I'm supposed to use the other one. Yeah, I keep bonking onto the block of afterwards, so... And, like, doing it, uh, like, this way in, uh, just plain doesn't work, so... My guess would be just to do, to make that... That's on the first jump, but... I don't understand. This way! But then there's the second one that just pushed me away! Ah! There we go, get out of here. What, 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 we, what, 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 <laughs> what, was what was I supposed to do there? Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's pretty much just avoid the Kaizo block and and get there. That's pretty much the, the entire point of this jump. But if you don't do it well, well, you're... You're out there. There we go. Oh, okay, that's how. Oh! Come on! <laughs> Come 
Come on. <laughs> am I playing a Kaizo or am I playing a troll level? It's a miracle I haven't seen a, 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 a Kaizo block at this point. Well, other than the very, the very well indicated one, that is here. Charging Chuck is having the time of his life. Oh wow! Managed to kill it, to kill it, but I'm still, still dying to that, huh? Interesting. I'm slowly getting the hang of that jump. And I'm slowly not getting this one anymore. <laughs> oh, whoops. Like, I'm getting the hard part done and then I'm filling all the easy parts. <laughs> that was dumb. Do I have to jump there? Like, what's the actual timing required for this? It's just going, it's just going, whee! it's going so fast. This one, so I'm surprised. Okay, I need to not... To not do a big jump. It's going roughly at the same speed as Mario. But of course, there's the the jank of the uh, of the charging chucks jumps anyway. <laughs> I need to jump on its right, otherwise I will die. Oh, am I sure to get it even with the? close though I can smell like any human being uh, I can smell the, the checkpoint from here though either checkpoint or the end of the level but I don't think it's uh, the end of the level I think it's just the uh, a checkpoint soon Wee! 
come on, I was right to the right of it. It shifted me to the center. And I got booped to the left somehow. Oh, oh interesting. It didn't jump this time. I was sure I was holding the, uh, the jump button at that moment, but maybe there's like a little bit of delay. I'm not noticing. At least the delay is, is leagues better than on Mario Maker 2. Oh, sorry about that one. It came out of nowhere. Just trust, just trust, Mackie, just trust. As untrustworthy this level is, just trust. What did I just say? So here's the worst part about this, about this section. I just noticed it's not the full speeds of Mario running here. Oh, wow. Like it's not the same exact speed, so you have to not trust it. I had it this time. I had it. Wrong timing. That was the worst timing possible. I need to wait for a clap and then go. That was dumb. That one Kaiser block is destroying my entire existence right now. All I live for, my entire being, my entire... My entire family, my entire... Experience. My entire stream, everything is lost to that one single Kaiser block. There we go. Oh, that was interesting. 
That is also interesting. Okay, I know how to do this now. Perfect. That's what I wanted to know. So in order to clear that jump, I need to not press any button. Oh, whoops. I need to not press any button, but then press right as soon as I can. To clean that one jump. What? 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 Okay, what was that? Do not over jump. Whoops. Oh, please. I was too fast there. Hey, Danya. How are you doing? Hopefully as good as this, as this charging truck here. Because this charging truck is living a life. Hmm. Maybe I can just use the... The boost as a as a way to get there. Oh no. Oh well. Oh no. Oh well. Goodbye. You gonna run to Shiro? No problem at all. No problem at all. Have a wonderful time and thank you so much for staying by so long. How are you doing, Vonia? Vonia? I know you're you're lurking, but just wanted to know. Okay, yeah, I I understand how to do this now. <sighs> Come on. Doing okay? Nice. I'm glad to hear it. I've been doing well as well. Although like my 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 fingers start to hurt a little bit. I'm not too used to doing actual Kaiser grinding. Finally taking some steps concerning mental health. Finally ordered the bed. Since three months you didn't have one. I feel that for roughly seven to eight years, I didn't have like my own my own framed bed. I only had like a mattress laying on the ground and that's it. And that mattress was like torn into. And I had that for like six to seven to well, 
seven to eight years. So I feel that. So being able to have like your own bed is, is a great feeling. Can't blame you for wanting to, to, to improve on that. Flipping kidding me. Ah. Just play the game it takes two of your with your boyfriend. It's so fun and I have not played that in a while. It seems like a great game altogether. That and uh if you if you have the um the possibility uh, with your boyfriend later on. Uh, try Haven. Haven is a great game for couples as well. There we go. Used to sl just sleep on a mattress on the floor when you went to school. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was my my middle and high school days as well. And you kept that mattress till three months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, so you mean you got rid of that mattress altogether? So what did you... What, how did you sleep if that's not too, too much of a... Like, did you just get a new one or...? I think I recognize the music, but I'm not sure. What? Oh, I just... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's not too bad then, but still. What? What do they want me for? What do they want from me? I see. Oh, I need to spin jump there. Whoops. Oh, wow. I need to get out of here as fast as soon as I can. Wasn't good enough. Uh, Haven. Let's see. That should be it. I, I if that's the, the the actual name of the game, I don't exactly remember if this is the actual one, but I think it's it. It's it's, it's this. Whoops.
But the plot is basically a guy and a girl uh, get completely stranded on a on a, a random planet and they're trying to do research there to try and get out of here and survive. And it's, it's all like a decision making, but decision making as uh, two people. Like making concessions, making... Um, Making making decisions based on the two. It's such a wholesome game for for couples, so I would I would definitely recommend it to you if you liked it takes two. Wow. Ah, <laughs> dang it. I don't know what I need to do. Or like, what is my goal for this section? Like, do I need to survive? Do I need to... To do a certain thing? I like the music, though. Dang it. Yeah, I think I need to survive. There's plenty of games I'm actually very interested in trying out. Oh, okay, I get it. I need to wait until the uh, the snake block goes down. Yeah, there, there's lots of games I'm interested in trying out or interested in playing with friends, but the hard part is find, finding said interested friends for for these. Like, there is a game that I'm a little bit interested in trying out. Like, it's a free-to-play game, so it's not too hard to to acquire and what... I keep forgetting to spin drum there. Uh, there's, not, there's a game I'm interested in looking into, and it's a free-to-play game, so it's not too hard to acquire. And... Pretty much the premise of this game is there is uh, a couple of hunters overlooking a town and there are a couple of people that are a couple of players that are inside that village but that village is also inhabited by many many npcs and whatnot and the role of the people inside the village is to behave like villagers and the role of the hunters is to find the imposters inside that village kind of like the nintendo land game if you if you've ever played it ah uh, why do i keep forgetting this but yeah it's it's like a free to play game on steam and it sounded like a cool a cool idea that could be played with many people there's also games like Heave Ho or uh, Pikuniku I really want to try and play with with somebody. Are you kidding me? Okay. So I need to get out of here before the second wave comes in. Is this my very first Super Mario World RAM hack? I wouldn't say RAM hack, but Kaizo for sure. No, oh, I was there. Come on.
But yeah, this is the, the very, my very first Kaizoram hack. So that's why I, I started playing this one. This one, as you might see on screen, is titled This is a good hack to play if you just started playing Kaizo World. Yeah, 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 it's absolutely okay to backseat. And if there's like any any other problems or any anything I'm doing like a little bit weird, like I have absolutely no problem with that. I'm here to learn. I'm here to learn. Oh, yeah, 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 I do know this. This is why I keep saying, oh, I, 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 I keep, I keep jumping normally. I know this is a, I know this is a spin, but I keep jumping normally. It's, it's just a me being bad thing. <laughs> normally, normally there, there was supposed to be a, something that was supposed to tell me that. But I just learned it myself because the, okay. Um, is this, is this a checkpoint or not? No, it is not. So after this death, I'll show you. I'll show you the wobble gobble <laughs> I had to deal with at the start of the hack. Oh, there you go. It's going to take a while to get back in there, but I need to show you. It's truly wobble gobble. Alright, yoink, 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 there we go. Alright, if you understand what this, what this all means, you're pretty good. <laughs> Alright, let me, let me just, let me just say it out loud. Because it, this this doesn't seem stupid enough. Standard ins. If you must have an a, a indicators jacked blank drop, had blue coins, yellow coins to spin a jump with your one in the squat. intended path. Abada abada ubada ubadu bada ubi obi ubi wobble kaboom, kaboom kaboom. The so shall love you. That's pretty much that's pretty much the, this message in a nutshell. And thank you, Light Fashion, for the tier one sub. How are you doing, my friends? So, with your intended path and tips for Co, please don't have in the race Kyob any blind drops. March your normal renote blocks, Kaiser boxes, throw silver shells, two hits, want to use special word color, other shells, one hit. This only use intro, looks green in Luna Magic. Version do not require players use map 16 to learn by dying. Tile 220 custom blocks should to represent. Not require trial, one full blocks and error to understand. Make it clear and simple, Bulzo. If anybody understand what this all means, Hats off to you. <laughs> Cause I sure as I don't. All right. Whew. Yeah, so I think that something got jumbled up in there and Something went wrong. That's pretty much all I can say. Yeah, 
yeah, this, I think this was supposed to be like, hey, this, the blue coins are supposed to be, to be spin jumps. There are no, there are no bad sections. There are, there are blah, 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 blah. But instead, I got this. So. Hey there, Jason. How are you doing? Yeah, that was bad. Personal opinion as someone who has used a little bit of magic before, yeah. A star never won in the squat. Life potion gifted attire un sub to Jason Ma de 97. They have given 60 oh, gift subs in the channel. Oh, thank you, potion. I think I done goofed. Yeah, I done, I done major goofed. Ah, I could have done it. That was TP right there. Uh, thank you, potion, for the tier one sub to Jason. And Jason, enjoy your emotes. That's 16 total, my dude. Absolute mad lad. Are you gonna go sleep, Nia? Yeah? Absolutely no problem. Or, uh, or you're, maybe you're just trying out the mattress and still lurking in the meanwhile. But either way, yeah. That's fine either way. Did some roughing? What? Like, did you, did you, did you, did you just... Did you just dog? Like, rough? Rough, rough? What does roughing mean? Okay, there we go. Okay, perfect. Hey, checkpoints. Oh, roofing. Well, that's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's spin. I need to spin this. What? What? Okay. What am I supposed to do here against these? I know that I need to spin jump on this one. That is for certain. Like what? What is that? What is that supposed to do? Whoops. Like something I like to, to, to try and do every time I do... I do these is understanding my goals and understanding what I'm going for. Like the order at which I'm going to be doing the uh, the actions to, to reach that goal. So here, for example, I want to be bouncing on this, bouncing on this plant, but then f after bouncing on the. Uh, the bullet bill, what do I do? The, bell the bullet bill has no point to me, at least. So the bullet bill is like a, a red herring. Oh, I see, you can't stay there.
What? What? How dare you go the other way? Oh, uh, whoops. And I need to 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 focus on on where do I want my my spin to be on on this thing? And I need it to be slightly behind. Whoops. If I don't have it slightly behind, I'm dying. But yeah, roofing is 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 something I'm um... okay. Are you kidding me? Why did you go the left way? Not the right way. I can do two jumps and then... Okay, I need to do three jumps on that plant. One, two... Two... Uh, the, the goal is right there, though. The goal is right there. One, two, one, two, three. As long as we can get the right timings, the amount of times I need to jump in. Two, three. Oh, wow. One, two, one, two, three. I need to decide on where I want to land, though. One, two, one, two, three. Whoops, I held the, the, uh, the button. One, two, one, two, three. I should have I should have held the button all the way until I fail. One, two, one, two, three. There we go. I need to hold the the button before reaching the coin. Two, three. Two, two, three. Please. One, two, one, two, three. Jump too early. One. Two, one, two, three. I need to aim for the center where the hole is. If I don't do that, I will not get the right timing. One, two, one, two, three. Two, three. Okay, so on the 6th, I need to wait a tiny little bit and then 
do the thing. So five big and the sixth the sixth is a tiny jump. One, two, one, two, three. Oh, come on. One, two. One, two, three. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh! I did it! Oh! That was close. All right, orange ocean. Let's go. curious as to what this is all about. Do I need to wait on this and then do a spin jump on that thing? Alright. I've been trying to jump, but each and every time my j my my input just has been eaten. A child of Arg is like waiting for it to, to eat my inputs. Yeah, every time, right there. And if I jump too early, it's it's dead. I'm dead. What do I do? Let's see. Nope. Yeah, the Chalvog is not something I can just spin up onto. At least I don't think so. Question mark? Oh, I can! Never mind. Okay, so now I know wh what to do. Things I wish I knew before doing this. In a, in a hint box that could be at the start. Oh, wait, I need to go over. Whoops. Ah, close. I almost managed to do to do that reclaim.
Whoops. <laughs> So now the most the most important part is deciding on when to to go and attack that Charvag. Yeah, I want to to be reclaiming it from behind, not from the front. At least that's how I wish to do it. But if I'm doing that reclaim, I need at least to hit the shell. <laughs> but yeah, recently I've been I've been trying out like a couple of games uh, when I'm in a an inspiration drought, and uh, I pl I played like a couple of of interesting things. Like, Craftopia was one of them. It's like a Breath of the Wild with Fortnite building things and kill trees and... Uh, and, and, and Genshin Impact things and... You know, yes. It just looks weird. There's some, there are some ideas in there and it's a little bit jank, but yeah, it's, it's fun for what it's worth. Um... I've played a little bit of Tower Unite again, though, and man, they've they've added like a couple of of interesting arcade games and some new courses for the mini golf. Those are those are pretty fun altogether. I wish more people knew about Tower Unite, though. Tower Unite is is such a fantastic game for for just chilling, in general. Because you can either you can either play one of the many 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 mini games um, on the game itself, or you can just or you can just uh, I don't know chill in a condo and and play some some music or or do some some silly stuff and know you Ocean you're a tower. Hey, there we go. What? What? What do you want from me, game? Oh, pfft, that was dumb. So that reclaim wasn't even worth a, a checkpoint, huh? Oof. Not looking forward to this, but we'll see. But yeah, they've added like a couple of random mini games as well. Like, you can fly a plane and... Well, uh, a remote control plane and and attack people. Well, in and attack like uh, other, other planes in PvP fights and... Um... Yeah, I found, found that pretty cool. Ah, dang it. Okay. This time. Come on. But yeah, 
There's like a um there's plenty of of, of really cool mini games in Tower Unite. There's like a mini ball uh, a mini golf game, there's like a Mario Kart clone, there is a monkey ball clone, uh there's there's a ton of our arcade games, there's billiards, there's um there's snowball fights, there is uh shooting games, laser tags, bowling. There is fishing. You can create and decorate an entire house if you wanted to. And by house, I mean little. You could have a an underground base as well, underwater base, which is even better. I don't even know if they added new condos since last time. I even didn't even check. They might, they might not. Who knows? But in any case, the game is like a a steal for the money. You pay for it, and they keep it like updated constantly. Like, once every two weeks, I always see, like, some updates about the game. I'm like, oh, that's neat. Oh, that's cool. Then I come back to it and, yeah, the, uh, the change is added. Always fun to see. The only thing that is a little bit sad about it is the, the the user base, which is super small. But even then, even then, it's super fun to play on. Like yesterday, I spent I spent roughly one or two hours, uh, <laughs> just getting into a a cardboard box, Metal Gear Solid style, sneaking up on people and just pushing them away with a little fan just like and just pushing them away this way there were a couple of vfk people that I just i just i just put together like in a couple pose or something like that <laughs> so yeah you can have fun like in your own your own way and there is also um something like VR chat style with your characters. So you could import like any kind of 3D model into there through the the Steam Workshop community and and have your own character th that way. I'm thinking of uh, finishing up the the model I had for for VTubing in general and and just importing it in there. Ah, oh, please. This reclaim is so stupid to do. I really don't want to be safe stating for this though. But I really think there should be... There should be a, a checkpoint right after that reclaim. Having to do something afterwards is dumb, in my opinion.
Because getting back there is not that much of a problem. But it's getting that one reclaim done that is such a pain to do. Because this very much represents what I don't like about... Um, lifestyle levels, if that makes sense. Ah, I need to, to push it to the left side. Dang it. Like, having to, to play for like two to three minutes just to get to be able to train one section feels a little bit dumb to me. Oh, there we go. I should just go there. Not even care about that Koopa. But yeah, having to, to play for three or four minutes to just to be able to get back to one section, fail it one time, playing three to four minutes again, having to replay it one more time, fail again, and then just do this, but with increased times between the different things. Like, I found that, I find that, like, super stupid. Because if you can't train something, if you can't train a particular aspect of, of a skill, but then you're forced to be used, to, to, you're forced to use that skill later on, Like, like, let's say, for example, you don't know anything about shell jumps. Whatsoever. But then, five minutes into the level, the level requires you to do a shell jump. You don't know how to do a shell jump, so you're going to have to train it somehow, some way. But how are you going to do that without safe states? Because the, the level will require you to go, to go back to that point and do that shell jump and miss it over and over and over and over again up until you learn it or you just quit the game and you bo you boot up Luna Magic or you boot up a, a ROM hack that tells you how to do it and then you do it there. That's, that's the problem I have with these kinds of setups that are forced onto you if you're not trained to do those. This is supposed to be a hack that that's supposed to be one of your first run hacks altogether. So, this is one of the gripes I have with it. Okay. I, I'm very much tempted to save state here. There's still no checkpoints in, in sight. And I'm going to die here. Checkpoint is right there. Why? Yeah, this is the entire reason why we need a practice mode in Mario Maker 2, for example. Because there's a lot of setups that requires the users to actually know how to deal with them. But we have no way to be able to deal with them all uh, up until we have to copy those levels one by one, one, one block by one block, and... Even then, that might not be the actual setup because there, there might be some timings done or some some hidden blocks or like some some stuff that you not might not necessarily know. That's being one of the biggest problems in Mario Maker 2 altogether.
And the worst part about this is that this function exists in the game. Like, the, the fact that you can down download a level and see what it is in the editor and practice what's inside, you can do that in Mario Maker 2, but you need to have a hacked switch for it, a modified switch. So, yeah. Well, not anymore, Potion. Oh, I got the checkpoints. I'm out of this lane. Okay. That was a weird timing for that. Ouch. Yeah, I don't play Mario Maker 2 anymore. I kind of wish I could, but uh, the extra, the extra, um, the extra amount of money I need to to invest into the the NSO is not worth to me anymore, unfortunately. Okay. This section doesn't look too bad. I understand what to do, what to go for. I'm just bad at it. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, if I go too early, I just bonk into the spike. If I go too late, the platform will not be there anymore. So I need to be very careful about that. Whoa! Come on! That's not fair. I had no time to react to that. Like, I was expecting the platform to move somehow, but not that fast. How? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I'm trying to go as fast as I can to, to stay on that platform, but that platform goes so fast. Ah, bonked. Alright, we slowly but surely do this. I tried to to, to 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 jump back into into the slots, but the momentum was too strong. I pressed the wrong button. I was trying to press the the run button to to get rid of Visa. I pressed the jump button instead. What am I doing? Okay. If I don't spawn the this platform at the right timing, I'm not making it.
Oh, I need to run after it. Well, that is interesting. I will say, though, the, the original design of the levels and the... The music in general is really, really, really good. For something that was finalized in a week, it's really, really, really good. Of course, there were some patches afterwards, but... jump there I tried to press the B button but when Mario runs there's a moment where he just can't jump doing this I lost my P speed uh. okay that was interesting it appeared way later than usual which made it easy on me but that was surprising. Uh, I pressed the run button and it jumped before it grabbed anything. jump too high. <laughs> Sorry if I don't talk too much here. I'm trying to focus as best as I can because my fingers are starting to hurt and I really really need to finish this level right now. I don't think I'll be able to to, to do it in a, s a fast session afterwards. That was blind. I am. Uh, I'm not too. I'm not too fond of these. This level either. What? Are you kidding me? You need one of the blue blocks. To be able to do it. Thanks. I love the level so much I wanted to do it another time. Okay, get me out of here. See you later. Whoosh! Hello. Oh, All right, four hours. That seems like a, a good, uh, a good time to. Uh, let's see. Boink. 
Seems like a good time to stop for today. Because my... my... So, the worst part is... The figures done that are, that are the suffering the most aren't even the figures that you, the fingers that use the buttons. It's the fingers that hold the controller. I'm so crisp and, and like stressed while doing the, those Kaisos and I'm just like holding the controller like my life depended on it. Thankfully this controller is like super sturdy. Like I could I could be I could be like just Flexing on it and yeah, it's just not budging whatsoever. So yeah, really, really tough, a really tough controller. But at the same time, I truly need it because otherwise I would have broken any of the controllers so far. <laughs> but yeah, so for today, we are going to be heading off. Um. We are going to be continuing this on the next Monday. Uh, this is this is like a really cool Ramax altogether. Although I wouldn't say this is like perfect for for first timers. Like if I didn't have any experience playing through Super Mario Maker 2, I would be lost playing this. So definitely not what I would recommend playing through for a first hack but at the same time it seems like easy enough to get into after you've learned the basics of kaizo from another hack i would say so yeah this is the, this is this is this is so cool i'll try to to finish this on the next stream because this seems like this seems like I, I'll definitely be able to to do that. Although, yeah. So for the next Thursday, um, I am not. Oh no, Tortius! No, no! I am about. I'm about. I'm about to end for the day. <laughs> Tortius! No. I'm about to head out for the day. I'm about to um, to be resting because my fingers are like destroyed. It's been four hours of doing just Kaisos, so. But what were you doing, though? What were you doing? What was what was the retro game you were doing? Oh, that's perfect. I know exactly where I'm going to be, uh, to be sending y'all off to. A very wonderful dude that's, that's playing also some, uh, some Mario World right now. He's playing some in Invictus. You played 10-ish games. Okay, I, I see. That's why, that's why full-on retro. <laughs> but yeah, likewise, likewise, Sotus. Thank you so, so, so much for the raise. So... Uh, we are going to be continuing this game on the next Monday. The um, next stream will be on Thursday. We are going to be doing some crowd control. Some crowd control. I don't know what game I'll be going for. Uh, most likely going to be Ocarina of Time. Uh, Morpha, if you have that seed, the one seed you want me to play, I'll tackle it on this day. As for the stream on Saturday, we'll be finishing out the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer and that's pretty much the plans for the week. I'll be doing like a couple of streams onto Discord and some some other some other random stuff like if I, if I ever edit some videos or I want to chat out a little bit onto Discord. Yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Also, for those who might be interested, I am opening up like uh, a lot of different commissions. I am opening up the um, my commissions for for emotes 
designs and panels and whatnot. So if you are ever interested in getting one of them done, this is definitely doable. Or even like some random some random stuff you want to be to be done on the side, just tell me and we'll see what to do. But yeah, this is enough enough uh <laughs> enough shilling for today. We are going to be heading off to Raiding it sure would. He's playing some Invictus right now, so he's playing some Mario World Ram hacks right around now. And he's a wonderful dude all together, great ambience. He's super chill. He's a wonderful dude. Have a great, great, great time with him. For now, I'll see you on the next stream or maybe on discord if i ever ever do a stream on that at the moment see y'all and take care